Hi guys and welcome back to Sideart Shop Channel. Okay guys, thanks for watching me today. This is a quick tutorial on how to make a fake raspberry. Okay, so without further ado, let me explain to you how you do that. First of all, you'll need some polymer clay and I have some pink polymer clay there. I tried to use uh, pinks or reds, uh, something in keeping with the raspberry because they are a red color. And what you do is knead the polymer clay like so. And then when it's all nice and soft, you just make it into a ball and then make it into sort of like a, a cone shape. And you'll need a stick, something like this, and you just pop that in the end a little bit, not all the way down, just to uh, make an indentation like that. Okay. And then what I normally do is get some of these which are polystyrene balls. And then uh, I find that the polymer clay is sticky enough without using any glue um, to stick these onto that. Now, all you do is stick, push it in like so, give it a little twizzle around and see it's sticking on there without any, any help from any glue anywhere. Okay. And what you do is you just give it a squeeze and try and get everything covered as much as you can. A little bit fiddly, guys. Can you see this? But it's well worth it. Okay, so keep doing that. And push it down and then they will stick on automatically. I'm just going to try to get that out, which I can. See, there's the end. And then what I'm going to do is push that down. So the idea is to cover as much as you can of that polymer clay with these little polystyrene balls. Okay. So you have this going on. Look how cute that is. Now I've lost my little hole, so I need to put it back in because they do have a little hole. Okay. I'm going to lose it again, but I will put it back in a second. I just want to make sure these are all stuck on, which is looking good, which they are. And again, I'm just going to pop that back there gently, he says. Okay, so we've got that going on. Right. Push that down. So you just want to keep playing around with it until everything's um, pushed in and stuck on. Um, like I say, you don't need any glue for this because uh, the polymer clay is sticky enough. It will all automatically stick. Okay, so you just keep messing about with it until you get the shape and the look of a real raspberry. And there we go. So I'm just going to make that hole again. Give it a little twist so it doesn't stick. Right. So I'm pleased with that. We've got our raspberry. But it's not quite looking like a raspberry should. It needs to be a little redder. So what I do is, let me just take that away, is I will paint it with some of this acrylic crimson uh paint basically so the best way I find to do this is get, to get some gloves and uh, basically pop a little bit of glue on your glove you can see I've done some already here and uh, just wipe it all in really so it's a little bit you don't need much and then you pick up your raspberry and then you just carefully spread all that paint all over that raspberry. Wow, doesn't this look amazing, guys, already? Okay, so keep doing that till you cover everything. And see, that's why I said use a, a red or a pink sort of color underneath polymer clay. Like I say, you can use black or a darker blue or anything like that, but you would have to cover it better with the uh, crimson paint because you would still see it through there. 
Okay. So there you go. It's a little bit too pink there, so I'm just going to dab a little bit in there. So I'm not, I'm, it's not too bad, is it, guys? Look at that. And let me just put that down. I'm not saying that, I just need to get a bit more in there. See, it's never quite finished, is it? You know what I mean? You know what I mean? What I'm saying, you do, you do. That's great. Look, so there you go. And I've pushed it out of shape slightly, so I'm just going to push it back in. Easy as that. Okay. How's that little long hole doing? That's still there. And if I can show you this. So there you go, guys. That is it. Let me put it down on here. There you go. There is your raspberry. And how fantastic does that look? And how easy was it, guys? Hey, you'll all be making these. I know you will. So um, any questions, put it in the comments below and I'll answer them if um, there was anything you didn't quite understand. But uh, yeah, I'm really pleased with that. I've got another one I made earlier and there's another one, look. So if you can imagine these on the topper, a donut or a uh, fake cake or anything like that, now, now you know how to make them. So thanks for watching, guys. Like, share and subscribe and I'll see you all in the next tutorial. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye for now.